These are three quick and easy tips to increase your accuracy and aim in the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare guy. If you are interested, stay tuned. What is up YouTube and G Lee as you already know welcome back to another one of my videos and if you're new around time I'd like for you to go ahead and click my logo in the bottom right corner and subscribe up now so you can join up on the nice free game Whatever also I'd like for you to click the bell so you're notified when a new video drops well, without further ado say guys I've got as I said in the little intro clip there I've got three quick and easy tips for you on uh, these are pretty much tips that you want to do before you load up a multiplayer match but if you do if you already load up a multiplayer match which in honestly I tell you already have uh, when you go to your settings and change these, you'll probably see a dramatic difference and your accuracy will be a lot better. So, number one, this is going to be a tip that you probably already should have done, but I'm just going to go more in depth into it. What you want to do is you want to go to sensitivity, and recently with this Call of Duty, uh, since they've had, since they've added, you know, crossplay, computer, PC, and all that stuff like that, um, you want, you're going to be able to edit your horizontal and vertical. So what you want to do with those are you want to make sure they're not too too much different but uh you don't want them to be quite the same because that add that effect that uh that you pretty much just have one specific sensitivity with adding the horizontal with as much you don't know horizontal is left and right vertical is up and down <clears throat> when you are aiming it is more likely that you're going to move left and right than up and down if you if you decrease your vertical by at least two then your horizontal then when you aim for a headshot, it'll be more likely that you'll stay on that headshot. You understand what I'm saying? If you don't, then you have to try and you'll definitely see. Another thing I want to add into this, a little side piece to this, is the motion blur. Now you can turn the motion blur off for uh, areas in the background. I'd advise you to do that because it, it kind of gives that motion sickness type of feel to it. And it'll make you a lot less accurate when you're running past buildings and you're missing people. So, on to tip number two. Tip number two is... A recent add to this game it is called the weapon mount when you go into your settings you need to change this and as you hear me change this to automatic that way whenever you run around a corner you will not need to press in any extra buttons to do so you already automatically start weapon mounting onto a corner and as you already know there is well if you don't already know already guys spoiler this game is known for campers it Pretty much is where we get the best spot first. So, you know. But tip number three, anyway, is aim assist. You need to. They give you a choice between the standard, the uh. They give you a choice between standard, precision, or focusing. Contact. The difference in these are with standard. It is the standard. You know, slow down whenever you aim away towards an opponent, or you know, hit fire as well. It will follow them a little bit. Precision is more so towards when you're aiming when you're aiming down sights it'll slow down just a little bit and with focusing it's a really hard aim assist like your your screen will just go towards them but it's not so good for it's more so for noobs and people who are kind of new to call of duty so pretty much guys what i would advise is going with precision because if you already know call of duty and you're already a call of duty vet such as i am as i could say at least you will definitely need this on because when you go for the aim no one really cares too much about the standard the standard usually always makes it follow them anyway like so even if you're trying to get double kill or something it'll lean towards them when and when all you really need is when you aim down the sight and, and to get that in there so basically you're when you're standard you're just you're doing it for no reason pretty much so precision is probably the best one to go with guys <clears throat> But as I said, make sure you check out that motion blur. That is something that is up to you. Uh, it does take away a little bit of the quality of the game because it is a new feature to the game itself. But at the same time, if you're more towards accuracy and you're trying to get a racket kill, and you need your, your, your you need to be more accurate than the rest of the other players. Then that's definitely what you what you should go with, guys. And towards the end of this video, guys, I like thank you for 500 subscribers. I know I said to say another video. Make sure you smash that like button for me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Nice Free Gang. Hit that left for a previous, hit that right for a random video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.